From the News Channel 5 Network, this is Pharmacist On Call. Good evening, Nashville, Middle Tennessee, our friends in Southern Kentucky, Elkton, Katie's, Trey County, how are you doing? Welcome to Pharmacist On Call, your host, Dr. Sean Pruitt, owner of Pruitt's Discount Pharmacy, located in Nashville, Tennessee. Well, friends, welcome to show number three. Uh, again, for those of you who are not familiar with the show, this show spurned out of the open line series, Ask the Pharmacist, uh, because of your support and your participation in that show, uh, the station has decided to to spur off a show where we specifically deal with your questions, your comments, and your concerns. So it is you and I. Uh, so everyone in the house, get you a pen and some paper, hopefully, based on the information that you give me uh, and my little bit of knowledge that we can come to a conclusion or uh, a resolution with some of your problems. Uh, today, of course, we will we'll deal with your questions and your concerns. Uh, we'll give a little health information, and I'd probably like to take a little time also to talk about a couple of supplements. Uh, also, we will give you an opportunity to be a, a star for a day. Uh, first of all, I wanted to, to thank those of you who have been supporting the show. You've been coming by the store or, or calling in with your, your comments and your critiques. Uh, so we appreciate that. But certainly, uh, rule number one, no stupid questions. So feel free to call in. Uh, so feel free to call in and uh, we will see what we can do to answer your questions. Um, I did want to I did want to get to one product but we've got Elaine on line one. We're going to get to that after we speak with Elaine. Elaine, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you for taking my call. Yes, ma'am. How may we help you today? Well, uh, my question is, if you get off of an antidepressant you've been on for years and years, how long does it take before that's completely out of your system? That is going to be individual for each person uh, because the depending on the antidepressant, it's processed either through the liver or the kidneys. And then it also kind of depends on how long you've been on that medication and how long it's accumulated. I would think within 30 days or so, cold turkey, that uh, that medication should be out of your system, uh, barring normal renal and liver function. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, yes, ma'am. You're welcome. Okay, sorry, so as I was saying, uh, I wanted to thank you all for supporting the show uh, and certainly coming by the store and everything. So, because of that, I am going to offer you, the viewer, an opportunity to become a star for a day. I am going to be filming my second commercial for the pharmacy on Friday, June the 20th, so mark that down. If you want to be famous, come down and be in the commercial. Friday, June 20th, and that will be 12 noon. Uh, we'll be filming inside and outside of the pharmacy, barring weather. Uh, so I encourage all of you who watch the show, those of you who are patients, uh, those of you who are uh, friends and family, those of you who have supported the movement of discounting medication, uh, supporting customer service and treating patients' rights, to come down and uh, be in that commercial. Up, oh, we've got another call here. Mm -hmm. We've got Nancy on line one. Nancy, how are you? Welcome to Pharmacist on Call. I'm good. Thank you for taking my call. Yes, ma'am. Um, my husband has severe COPD. Yes, ma'am. And he's on very expensive medicine. And we are now in the donut hole. What can we do? Is there anything we can do? Or any place we can get the medicine? Or after we get out? The, I mean, how do we get out of the donut hole? <laughs> Uh, I believe that is a spin down mechanism to where you s spend enough and then you you pretty much come out of it. Is that medication Combivent Respimad inhaler? It's Combivent and yes, it's a purple one, round purple. Advair. Yes, Advair you know, both of those very expensive. Yes, ma'am. In that instance, uh, because those medications are expensive even for me to get, so. Unfortunately, the copay that you have on the donut hole, which is, I'm guessing, around what, maybe a hundred dollars or so. Well, yeah, at least a hundred, hundred and fifty each. But yeah. I didn't know if there's any place to help us get this until we get out of the donut hole, or then that's not. And fees on all these other medicines, also. Yes, ma'am. In that instance, I would look to the manufacturer themselves. Sometimes they will provide uh, coupons okay. to, to offset the cost of that medication, and I believe it's GlaxoSmithKline 
who manufactures Advair, um, and I should know that. Uh, Combivent may be Eli Lilly. Uh, forgive me, patients and pharmacists, uh, for not knowing the manufacturers of those uh, medications. So I would try um, to Google the manufacturers of those particular medications, see if there are some online coupons or patient coupons, uh, just in general. And your physician may even have those. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, and you have a good day. Okay, yes, ma'am. You're welcome. All right. Bye -bye. All right, line two, we have Dorothy. Dorothy, welcome to Pharmacist on Call. How may we help you? Yes, um, thank you for taking my call. I just want to ask, uh, ask a question. I had total knee surgery December of last year. Yes, ma'am. When I got out of the hospital, the doctor wrote me a prescription that cost $150. I'm on Medicare and Medicaid. I could not even get anything. Matter of fact, I didn't get any pain medicine from my orthopedic doctor up till now. And what I'm saying is, I didn't know they could do people like that. I mean, I had total knee replacement and the insurance company would not pay for my medicine. What was the name of your medication? Uh, I still got it. I got the, hold on just a minute. I will give you the name. It's N B C Y. N-T-A. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. That's New Center. Okay. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get that. They told me, Walgreens told me that uh, it cost, they didn't pay for it, and it cost me $150. <laughs> Uh, that is true, uh, but what the pharmacist should have done in that instance was to offer to speak with your physician to find a covered medication uh, for you. Uh, yeah, that's a Schedule II narcotic uh, and appropriate for someone who's had uh, total knee replacement. So yeah, yeah, I guess an injustice was done there. Uh, the doctors are not always familiar with what is covered and what is not. Uh, so that's where it is our job to kind of lobby on your behalf to find out, well, not necessarily to find out, but to kind of know, based on our experience with the insurances, what is covered and to offer you an alternative. Well, they told me I was supposed to have known what I was supposed to get. I said, well, if the doctor doesn't know, how do you figure? I do. I, I was so much, so much pain, it, it ain't even funny. Only thing that my primary doctor gave me was uh, Tamadol. No, no, no. Tamadol. What insurance are you on? Uh, care, what is that? Hold on. <laughs> care, oh God. Care, 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 Well, whatever, I'm trying to find that, that, um. Well, let me just offer my solution to what, what that is if you've not gotten the new center yet. I would suggest uh, a Percocet, which is a combination of 10 milligrams of oxycodone and 325 milligrams of Tylenol. Now, that would be a more appropriate medication. It is covered under most insurance plans that I've experienced. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find that paper, Lord have mercy. But they don't, they, they, they would not, Walgreens up here, Walgreens would not, you know, they said $150. They don't pay for it. Went to another Walgreens, same thing. So nobody really helped me. So I went through total pain without anything except the camera draw. How long has this been? I got the surgery in, in uh, December of last year, and my leg is still swollen up. I think I got infection. I really do. And nobody will touch me. No doctors want to bother with me because I had the surgery with this other doctor. Okay, and they didn't refer you to pain management or anything after that? No, no, no. I got a big old lump. My leg is turning black. My foot is turning black. Okay, and you said no other physician will look at it? I went to, uh, I'm up here by Southern Hills. There's an orthopedic doctor across the street, and he told me he wouldn't touch me. Okay, give me a call at the store uh, tomorrow, ma'am, and we'll see if we can find someone that can take care of you, okay? Okay, then let me write your, is that your, let me see the pharmacy number. I need a pen. Yeah, I know that they will, I uh, know that's to call in, but there's the information right there. It's 562 MEDS, M -E -D -S, which is 6337. Okay.
And where are you located at? I'm at 811 C Dickerson Pike. So we're about a quarter of a mile from the Jefferson Street Bridge if you're headed away from town. Okay. I'm writing the number down. And I will, what's your name, sir? Uh, Dr. Pruitt. Dr. Pruitt. Okay. And my name is George Gray, and I will be calling you so I can uh, you know, really tell you what all happened. Yes, ma'am. Okay, then. I will do that. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. All right. All right, everyone. It looks like we are up on a break. Stay right there. Those of you who are on the phone, be patient. We'll get right to you in a second. <laughs> 